If someone has chronic liver problems and needs a pain pill, should they go for Tylenol or ibuprofen? Now pause the video for a second and think about it because I bet your answer is different than mine. First, what's the difference between Tylenol and ibuprofen? A lot of the differences center around the side effects, and this is because of the differences in how these medicines work. Ibuprofen is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, or NSAID, so it's very similar to most of the other over-the-counter pain meds you can buy like Aleve, Motrin, Naproxen, and Advil. They're all NSAIDs too, and they act by blocking molecules called prostaglandins that typically help cause inflammation. Now these medicines are similar to Tylenol in that they can be effective in relieving aches and pains and fevers, but Tylenol is not an NSAID. Interestingly, we don't really have a great understanding of how Tylenol works, but that's for another video. It doesn't affect prostaglandins though, and NSAIDs like ibuprofen do. And as a result, NSAIDs like ibuprofen can cause stomach irritation and upset and even cause ulcers. Now prostaglandins also help dilate kidney blood vessels to bring blood to the kidneys. If you block those with NSAIDs like ibuprofen, you get decreased blood flow to the kidney. And that eventually damages the kidney. And this is why it's commonly said that you should avoid ibuprofen if you have kidney problems. Now Tylenol, on the other hand, is famous for causing liver problems. Because if even a healthy person takes too much Tylenol, it can cause complete liver failure. I've seen this far too much as a liver fellow. And this is because when the liver breaks down Tylenol, it produces a toxic breakdown product that's normally quickly detoxified and excreted. But if there's too much Tylenol around and the liver is unable to detoxify at all, that toxic component can bind to other things and start damaging the liver pretty significantly. Now this should only happen if you were taking more than the doctor recommended dose of Tylenol. If you already have liver disease like cirrhosis from alcohol for example, then your liver is damaged already and therefore its ability to detoxify the toxic Tylenol byproduct is a little bit hindered. But that actually doesn't mean that you can't have any Tylenol if you have chronic liver problems like cirrhosis. Most liver doctors say that you can still have Tylenol but at a reduced dose so that your damaged liver is still able to keep up. What's super confusing is that most liver doctors would agree that ibuprofen and other NSAIDs are actually worse for someone with chronic liver disease like cirrhosis than Tylenol is. Wow! And that goes back to the same reason that ibuprofen can be bad. For an average person, the kidney blood flow is decreased when you take ibuprofen consistently. Now when you have cirrhosis, your kidneys can easily be affected by that and fail as a result. This tenuous balance between the liver and the kidneys can be tipped over by a lot of things like infections, GI bleeding, and dehydration. But ibuprofen is certainly another one to add to that list. Therefore, many liver doctors tell their chronic liver disease patients to avoid all ibuprofen and actually to take Tylenol in a reduced dose from the average healthy person if they need an over-the-counter pain medicine or fever reliever. Now, of course, there's nuance with everything and I don't want you to think this is medical advice. If you have kidney problems or if you have liver problems or if you feel like you need to be taking a lot of ibuprofen or Tylenol, talk to a doctor please and don't just listen to this silly video I'm making. But from an educational perspective, a good rule of thumb and a common misconception is that an appropriate dose of Tylenol is actually better than ibuprofen in patients with liver disease. Tylenol can cause liver disease if taken in very high doses and ibuprofen can worsen the kidneys of healthy people and people with liver disease even at an appropriate dose if taken over and over and over on consistent days. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed listening, please comment below what I should discuss next. Please consider subscribing and have a great day. Thanks.